challenge 50, week 3, tools 21 to 30. Tool number 21 are the spring dividers. Spring dividers are used to mark circles or curves on metal. Tool number 21 are the spring dividers. Tool number 22 is the jack plane. The jack plane adjusts the thickness of the wood by removing thin layers. Tool number 22 is the jack plane. Tool number 23 is the fret saw. The fret saw is a small machine saw used for intricate cuts and tight curves. Tool number 23 is the fret saw. Tool number 24 is the wood turning lathe. The wood turning lathe is used to create cylindrical shapes by turning wood. Tool number 24 is the wood turning lathe. Tool number 25 is the die and die stock. The die and die stock is used to create external threads on metal rods. Tool number 25 is the die and die stock. is the engineer square. The engineer square is used to draw lines at 90 degrees to the edge of the metal. Tool number 26 is the engineer square. Tool number 27 is the brace. The brace is a non-powered drill for drilling larger holes. Tool number 27 is the brace. Tool number 28 is the knurling tool. The knurling tool is used on the centre lathe to create a knurled pattern on metal. Tool number 28 is the knurling tool. Tool number 29 is the vacuum former. The vacuum former creates thin plastic parts around the pattern. Tool number 29 is the vacuum former. Finally for this week we have tool number 30 which is the scriber. And the scriber is used to draw lines on sheet metal. Tool number 30 is the scriber.